So we just left the car, we're on our way to hopefully our first juicy spot from when we came last time, which was probably like almost a year ago, it was probably like in the fall, in October, I guess not really a year ago, half a year, so we're in April, it's about, today's going to be a great day, it's going to be about 70 degrees, we haven't had that here in Chicago in a long time, so we're going to be out here enjoying it. We're gonna get a few casts over here by our juicy spot. Hopefully we hit something there. First cast. Any bites? Just small bluegill. Small ones? Bluegill? Yeah. Looks like only bluegill are biting at this juicy spot. There's like a little runoff, so there's some oxygen that's shooting into the lake. Right down there. There's probably some bait fish, some bluegill, but we're looking for the we're looking for the big bass. Snap, bro! It's like third cast off the chatterbait. That's a nice bass, dude. That's a nice ass bass. Oh my god. Holy, that's your PB, bro. For sure, bro. That's like a it four is. pounder at least. Take a picture of my. Holy of crap, snapped. bro. You fucking snapped. Snapped. Holy shit. Oh, he was about to come off, too. Ooh, he was barely hooked? Yeah, he was barely hooked. Holy shit. This is definitely my PB. For sure, bro. Nice, dude. Right, you see this guy? Bro, that's a brute. That is, that's a beautiful fish. That's a nice ass fish, bro. Oh my god, look at that. He's, he's fat, fat too. dude. Look at that belly. Holy he's shit. He's ready to, he's ready, he's ready bro. Spawn. Right, for real. Oh my god, that mouth, that mouth looks, looks crazy. crazy, dude. Holy nice. shit. Right, this is the first one of the year. You fucking snap, bro. One of the year. This you snap. Like that's two, what's up. Maybe? Probably one a three, bro. No, he's definitely a three. Look at that gut. He's not as long, but he's definitely a three, dude. It's a beautiful fish. See you guys. Go, boy. <laughs> Just like that, guys. We got our first fish here. We got Lucky. Buddy on the boat. Doesn't look like he's doing too good. We out here snagged our first one. I'm about to um, finish rigging up my wacky rig Senko. See if I can throw him in there first on my little finesse rod, my seven footer. And then I'll mess around on my uh, bacon. <laughs> Alrighty guys, it's been about 30, 45 minutes since we caught our last fish and it's been our only fish. I've been throwing the wacky rig around with a little Senko and it's been getting nipped at, hasn't fully been doing the job. My brother caught it, um, his first bass here, his first one of the year actually. I think it might be his PB actually, it was like three or four pounder. But he caught it off uh, Chatterbay, Z-Man Chatterbay with um, Crack and Craw, natural. You already know, we on them Guggen Bays. You already know what it deal is out here. But anyways, um, we've been here for about an hour on the cotton fish. Last fish was about 30 minutes ago, so we've been tossing out here, flipping, you already know. I actually um, got my bait caster about a week ago. No, a couple days ago, actually, and I've actually never even thrown one, so the first five casts were horrible, got bird nests, but I'm starting to get the hang of it. Wait until I get to, like, a more clear spot where there's not as much shrub everywhere. So I can actually um, cast it a few times. So I'm going to switch to that because that has a chartreuse um, square bill on there. A nice crankbait. So we'll see what that does. Yeah, we're going to grab, we're going to find a spot to uh, eat our lunch. And then we're going to find some more spots to dangle. We'll see you soon. our second spot the other spot or third spot actually the second spot first spot we caught a bass second spot popped we didn't see him get we caught a couple bites but i mean yeah a couple bites but nothing too crazy and then we came up to this third spot and then we peeped over right over here watch i'm about to show you there is about a hundred shad over here i don't know if you can
can see him, dude. Try my best to like try to zoom. Looks like I glass. It's hard to see this. I don't want to spook him. Go back. I'm gonna creep up. Holy shit, dude! Damn! He just dipped. Wonder if my camera got it. Yeah, that shit's wild, dude. There was hella. I've never seen that many bait fish in my life. Not even in stores. It's wild. So we're gonna grab some lunch. We're gonna do a couple more casts right here. All right, guys. So mid afternoon report. As I'm stepping over my line. It is about what time is it? Two in the afternoon. We came here at about ten in the morning. We've caught one fish in those five hours. And that was in the first hour we got here. We've been to three different spots, finished eating lunch. We fished here, same spot where we saw all those amounts of freaking bait fish, crawfish, and tadpoles. But yeah, we're going to make our way to another spot around. It's a huge lake, so we're, probably, we're not even going to be able to fish all of it. We're going to fish about half of it if we're lucky. So we're going to go to we were gonna go down to this point but some dude beat us there so we're gonna make our way down to that point down over there down by the swan so we'll see if we get lucky on that side we haven't been too lucky on this side i did see a huge muskie roaming right here he was just cruising he wasn't even interested in my crankbait so we'll see what's good man i'll let y'all know Damn, someone's living out here? What did you say to look at? That's a tree vine. Oh. Straight off a tree vine. Circular. Hello? Anybody living here? Oh boy, built a teepee. Oh shit. That's crazy. There's a fat old carp right here, dude. I don't know if it's gonna be able to spy on the camera. He's like right there where he's, oh, he just moved. Yeah. yeah. On our way over to this spot, we saw like four or five carps just right next to each other. They're probably getting ready to spawn. They were fat and juicy. You can tell they were carps, the colors yeah. on them. This guy is rolling solo. Oh, he's right there. He's coming this Let's way. See if we can spot him. Let's see if we can spot him. No, he went that way. No, he dipped. These guys don't want this. They want that bread. Oh, shit. This one's huge. Wait, the other one's right behind it. Oh, there's three, bro. There is a group of three. Oh, oh he's, co he's coming up to the surface. Coming up to the surface, bro. Passed him. He passed him. Oh, look at his colors, dude. That shit is crazy. There's three of them right there. They were just messing with them, man. They don't want none of our bait. We should have came back with some bread or something. We're moving on. Moving on to a different spot. It's probably spot number five. And we've seen some really big carp in between spot number three and five right now. So this is definitely gonna be the juice whenever we want to go carp fishing. Might do it this week, you never know. This is the spot right here. Coming with some corn, throw it all in the water, have them come by, and then hook them with that top water bread. You already know. That's gonna be next time. So we're moving to our next spot right here. It's about three in the afternoon. And hopefully we catch a big bass right here. Hopefully I catch mine. First one of the day, we've only caught one. And that was my brother. On a spinning rod with a chatterbait and a Guggen crack and craw. But I'm making my way through to the spot. Yeah, that's what we are here. <laughs> We'll see, I'll, let you, I'll update you guys as we go.
Alright. Alrighty guys, so fifth spot was a bust. We did see some more carp teasing us. We are gonna come back tomorrow morning, get that top water bite with them. Hopefully we get way more lucky than we were tonight. Or to today actually. And we have some errands to run. It's five o'clock right now. We still have a few more hours of sunlight. Once we finish those errands in about maybe an hour. Yeah, probably in an hour. We're gonna be back on the water, fish until the sun drops. And hopefully we have better luck then. See you guys. So we made a pit stop at PetSmart because so I have to feed all my animals and we have about 15 minutes to feed them, do what we gotta do home before we have to go pick up my nephew at his daycare and then from then Hopefully more fishing. All right, let's see. Ready? All right, let's see. Hopefully MTV came through. What? Happy fishing. That's the first thing I yes. said. Dude, you my Hello, dog. All righty, guys. So I am back at the crib. It would, um, we're just, unfortunately, actually, we didn't get to fish the last couple hours that the sun was out. We had to run a few errands and stuff got in the way, but it's all good because tomorrow morning, stay tuned for some freaking carp fishing. All right, we are going to end off the night with a few Oronas and some good old brats. If you guys can see them, it's pretty dark back here. Isn't that right, doggo? So yeah, hope you guys had a great day. I had a decent day, and I appreciate the view. You guys, I'll see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,